The following review is going to be on the Netflix series Masters of the Universe Revelation Eternia Minis Beastman. Stay tuned. Adam Spill here, and today we're going to do another review from the Netflix original series Masters of the Universe Revelation. These are called Eternia Minis, and this is Beastman. First, we'll take a look at Beastman and its package. All these figures do come with a weapon and a little instruction booklet or a uh, catalog. And on the back, it's got Revelation. I guess this is Wave 1 because they've got Whiplash, Beastman, Skelegod, Fisto, and Metallic Whiplash. There's the UPC if anybody wants it. All right, let's get this guy out of the package and see what we've got. And as we take Beastman out of the package, he comes with a little catalog. And we'll look at this real quick. It is, there's Castle Grayskull with the Power Sword, and it is Master of the Universe Revelation. And then you have Eternia Minis. You got Skelegog, Metallic Whiplash, Beastman, Whiplash, and Fisto. <clears throat> he comes with a little weapon. It is a whip. It's pretty cool. It's molded in black, and it is all textured. That's yeah, pretty neat. And then you've got Beastman himself. <clears throat> And here's the original Beast Man. Let's see, he's orange. He's got some yellow teeth. He's got white around the eyes and he's got blue eyes. He's got this brown tuft of hair in the back. You can tell he's got all the, the textured fur in the back. His body is all fur. He's got the blue uh, shorts and he's got bracelets and anklets. I guess he's got rope around his ankles and some around his wrists. Now for articulation, his head <clears throat> will do a 360, but actually his head kind of rotates up like that, which is pretty weird since he's got the hunchback. So I guess you can look side to side. <clears throat> a little up and down movement. Yeah, a little up and down movement. Waist. You have 360 degrees in the waist. The arms do the whole 360. And the feet are one together. And that is it for the articulation. And what you do is you slide his little whip in his hand. They're very tight. <clears throat> and there is Beast Man with his whip. And he's a pretty cool figure. <clears throat> I like him. Uh, let's see, what can I say about Beast Man? <clears throat> and he's got holes in his feet for that term I like to use, playability. So <clears throat> you have the arms and the and the head, and the, at least the waist rotates. I mean, this, they didn't have to make the, the waist rotate, which was pretty cool. And that is it. Now, we're going to do some comparisons. I thought it would be fun to compare this guy to all different kinds of characters. So first, we're going to bring in Skelligog. He's our other Eternia minifigure. And that's how those two guys compare. <clears throat> and then we're going to get creative. This is a Hulk bobblehead little mini. So that's how those two compare. This is a Superman Ushi keychain. Like I said, we're going to get real weird. <clears throat> this is a Transformer Core Class Rat Trap figure. So that's pretty neat. And we're going to bring in a Star Wars figure. So they're about, these are what, like three and a half inch figures or something. Three and a quarter inch figures. So that's about half the size. And there's Luke. And this is a, oh, what are these called? A Domes Venom. Oh, that's a Carnage. Pretty cool. And I'm going to bring in my original Cyc a Triclops. I don't know why I can't get the feet. This is my original Triclops figure from like 1982, 83, somewhere around there. And they're pretty neat. <clears throat> and you'll notice how they got no articulation. So we're going to bring in, this is from the new He-Man, uh, the new He-Man origin figures, which they have all the new retro play. So that just tells you how big these little Eternia minifigures are. <clears throat> And they're pretty neat. I mean, you know, they're only $4.99. I got mine at Target, but you can go there too. Or you can go to Big Bad Toy Store. It's got the link in my description below. 
I know they've got some He-Man figures. I'm not sure if they'll have this particular one. But they're pretty neat. I figure five bucks. I might as well buy a couple. I got him in Skelligog. And do some reviews on them. And, uh, well, not much else you can say. They're, they're not a little bad. I might bring these at work and have them on my desk once I do them all. If I get them all and do the reviews. Now, Wave 1 is all out in stores. So that's how they look together. Actually, let me try this guy. Oh, his head he can't move up and down. So that is how they look. I mean, I wanted to get... <clears throat> I was hoping they'd have some other figures. But my Whiplash, Fisto. I wanted... You know, some more of the uh, more common figures. I mean, Beastman's pretty popular. But maybe they'll come out with a Wave 2 and have a lot better figures like Man at Arms, Ram Man, Stratos, all the good stuff. So, all right. And that is Eternia. Sorry about that. And that is the Beastman figure. And uh, I guess that's all I can say about this review is I'm glad I like it when they bring out little cheap figures like this because it gives you a good um, gives you a little you know little uh, desktop decorations and all that good stuff all right so don't forget to like subscribe and please turn on your notifications hit that bell that lets you know when I do new videos we do transformers we do uh, he-man I guess we do G.I. Joe, we do, uh, I don't know, DC, Marvel, we do new toy sightings. I hunt, I'm always going to Target and Walmart every day I go to Target, see what kind of new toys they have, and I let you know about it, so always subscribe to my channel, and all that good stuff, so uh, I guess that's it for Beast Man, so uh, I don't know what Beast Man says, Og, I'll get you He-Man, you and all my furry beasts. I don't know. Oh, uh, Rodimus Bill out. Ah!